ask you what you think, but what's the point of asking you what you think? You're here to listen to what I have to think. So I'll tell you a little bit more about what I have to think. The shooter who killed a Texas cop unleashed 15 shots at close range. He emptied the entire clip of his 40 caliber pistol and another bullet loaded in the chambers. He stood over the dead cop, according to Harris County DA D Devon Anderson. Shannon Miles was arraigned for capital murder on Monday morning in the Friday shooting of Deputy Darren Go Goforth, 47. His mama already said that he didn't do it. His mama already said he was home with her. He couldn't have done it, even though they have ballistics evidence traced to his gun with the bullets that were found in the sheriff's deputy and many other pieces of evidence connecting him directly to the crime. Black Lives Spatter disrupted a Minnesota State Fair uh, on Friday, Saturday. Black Lives Spatter disrupt Minnesota State Fair is my headline. They called for frying pigs at Minnesota State Fair. How much more can this country take under this revolutionary communist in the White House? How much longer can we take it is the question I ask? Is the question I ask? And what is the reaction going to be and when will it happen? Why won't the Republicans stand up for the police? Why is not one voice in the American political system speaking out for the police who are now being targeted by these criminals. 855-400-7282 is the phone number. WABC, Matthew, go ahead. What's your point? Yes, hi. Um, my point to you, Dr. Savage, is, um, you know, the president has a um, an executive order or something of that sort where he is allowed to stay as presidency if there is a war. So under the guise of the coming civil war, I would imagine... Yes, po certainly possible. Right, this could be all... Uh, 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 we don't know what he has in mind. He's demonic. He's a revolutionary. He's unstoppable. There is no opposition party. There's no opposition press. He could be Papa Doc Duvalier and president for life. This man could be president for 30 years unless somebody stands up to this maniac Frankenstein in the White House. End the story. End the story. What more do you want me to say? How much more can I say that I've already said? Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Those are the esteemed shock troops of the White House, the Black Panthers, chanting off the pigs. This is after the cop was killed. They are the uh, SA of the new White House. They are the street thugs of the type that Hitler used, uh, the brown shirts. Here they're called the Black Panthers. In Germany, they were called the brown shirts. And they were meant to intimidate the population so that the dictator could have his sway over every aspect of the population's lives. This is very serious stuff, not easy to do, very depressing. But if no one in the media is willing to stand up for the police, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to play that montage every day this week. I'm going to keep playing it and playing it and playing it until somebody says that the killing of the police must stop. It was started by Obama, Holder, Sharpton, Farrakhan, de Blasio, in my opinion, one man's opinion. This did not happen in a vacuum. War was declared on the American police officer by these people, in my estimation. It went on and on and on, and now they're killing them. Not one word in the media. I didn't see one story. Not one story. And when I turn on radio, I want to throw up. Why, them Republicans, why, if they want to win in 2016, why, I tell you, it's them Dems, and now I have something to tell you about something else, but it's them Republicans. Oh, yeah, no, them Democrats are no good. No, I tell you, them Republicans are real good. We have a special guest on, a regular Republican. We're never going to have those evil Democrats on. Oh, yes. That's what you want to hear on radio? This, this medium must be used to stop the epidemic of violence against the police and to arrest Black Lives Matter because they are not protesting. They are killing their words are killing. I believe in the First Amendment. I live by it. But when you call for killing police and police get killed, that's not yelling fire in a crowded theater. That's yelling kill police in a crowded nation. 
That's filth. That's slime. Listen to Sheriff Clark in clip number five and see if he disagrees with me. Five. The president of the United States started this war on police. Look, you can't say anything you want in the United States of America. You cannot threaten people's lives. You can't call for the killing of, of people like we're seeing from some of these things. That is not First Amendment protection. That it's protected. That is filth. That is slime. And, you know, there are some law, enforce, uh, law enforcement implications that can be done with the Department of Justice and with state's attorney's offices across the United States. I love the First Amendment. I love freedom of speech. You are not free to threaten my life or anybody else's. That is 100 percent right. And we the people must stand up for the thin blue line. You better stand up for the thin blue line or the street thugs are coming for you. WABC, Tom, your opinion. Go ahead, please. Michael, uh, you blew my mind because I had my dictionary open in preparation to talk to you, and I was open to the word insurrection, and you finished your opening monologue with the word insurrection. Um, on, a, on just a quick good note, yesterday I went to an, an air show at a reserve base and talked to so many soldiers there. They're such wonderful, beautiful people, and there is a lot of hope. We have to try to hang on to a little hope. But there's no leadership. He deballed the leadership. He put in radical lesbian feminists at every point in the military. You want me to check my words again? But the rank and file. He put radical lesbian feminists everywhere you turn in the military. He's deballed the military so they wouldn't react to him. I know. You know? Well, good, then say it. What do we have to gobble our words for? I'm sick of holding back my words. The man is a maniac, anti-American, wants to bring the country to its knees. Somebody's got to stop him. There has to be a move to impeach him. You say, wait a minute, wait a minute. We don't have the votes to impeach him. He's an out-of-control maniac. The only thing that could even stop him would be an impeachment move against him. Even Do you understand that? I, I don't want to discuss it. We have no opposition party and no media whatsoever. None. There is no media anymore. The fourth estate has become the fifth column. I've said that over and over and over again. Do you know what the fourth estate is? That's me. The fourth estate is the media. Our job is to be in opposition to an overbearing government. Our job is to call out the government when it's stepping on the people. That's what the fourth estate is supposed to do. But when the fourth estate starts acting like a fifth column, meaning, well, you'll have to look up the fifth column. I've explained it over and over again. It goes back to the Spanish Civil War. ABC again, New York City. Steve, you have your moment uh, of fame. Go ahead, please. Thank you for taking my call. It's an honor to talk with you. You asked the question a few minutes ago, why are Republicans standing up for uh, the police? Now, I don't know about the politicians, but I can tell you the people, uh, most gun owners are going to be a Republican. Rep gun owners are tired of being harassed by law enforcement every time they're in possession of a firearm. In New Jersey, if you're illegally driving, from a gun range or to a gun range with a firearm in your car, it is pretty much a de facto search warrant. You're going to have questions. Well, well, you, you're questions. now changing the, the subject from the killing of police by black thugs instigated by the president and his minions to now the police are no good? No, no, no. I would, I would die defending a police officer. If I ever saw one on the side of the road wrestling with somebody, I would absolutely stop and defend one any day of the week. But what I'm saying is a lot of people are tired, gun owners, Republicans, of the way that they've been mistreated. There's millions of videos on YouTube. Well, why don't you join Black why don't you join Black Lives Matter and start chanting pigs in a blanket fry them like bacon? Maybe you'll find maybe you'll find friends of yours in the Black Lives Matter movement. Maybe the gun owner men no, go join them. Maybe the Republican gun owners would feel comfortable around Black Lives Matter, uh, chanting off the pigs. You might be happy. Go become a Black Panther, see if they'll have you in. That's all. Okay, my friends, what would you like to talk about? I got good callers, but I don't know that uh, you want to hear them. Okay, let's take Pete on WJR. Pete, go ahead and make your point. I pray for your health and your safety every day for having the guts to say what you just said for the last 30 minutes, and I wish Donald Trump would do that right now. I don't know why he isn't. Maybe it's not time to do that because he hasn't been uh, nominated yet. No, he can't do it. He cannot do it. He could not do what I can do because... If he breathes the wrong way, the communist vermin in the media will crucify him. And that is why he's got to be very careful in how he approaches the social 
meltdown of the United States of America under this monster in the White House. Yeah, I understand, yeah. That's so, my estimation. But, but the people are... are That's all. The, people are very, the people are very frustrated. They're very angry. The taxpayers. You know, I was going through my notes the other day, and I found something I wrote a while ago that is a little off the topic. It's called a death poem. And for no reason whatsoever, I'm going to read it to you. Maybe we'll end with the po killing a police at another time. I wrote this about a year ago. If you go back to the history of this earth, going back to space and time, going back to God himself, the Big Bang Theory, or the theory of divine creation by God, the beginnings of life, the age of fishes, the age of the coal swamps, the age of reptiles, the first birds, the first mammals, the age of mammals, monkeys, apes, and submen, the Neanderthals and the Rhodesian man, the first true men. If I go back to the beginnings of cultivation, primitive Neolithic civilizations, if I go back to early Egypt and Samaria, primitive nomadic peoples, if I talk with you about the first seagoing peoples, Egypt, Babylon, Assyria, the primitive Aryans, the last Babylonian empire, the empire of Darius I, if I speak with you of the early history of the Jews, of priests and prophets of Judea, of the Greeks, of the wars of the Greeks and Persians, of the splendor of Greece, or of the empire of Alexander the Great, of the museum and library at Alexandria, of the life of Gautama Buddha, of the life of King As Ashoka, of Confucius and Lao Tzu, of Roman history and Roman Carthage, the growth of the Roman Empire between Rome and China. If I speak to you of the common man and his life under the early Roman Empire, if I speak with you of the early days of Jesus and the development of doctrinal Christianity, if I tell you of the barbarians and how they broke the empire into East and West, and then I speak with you about the Huns and the end of the Western Empire. And I then speak with you about the Byzantine and the other empires. And then bring you into the dynasties of Sui and Tang in China and Muhammad and Islam. And then go to the great days of the Arabs. And then I speak with you of the development of Latin Christendom and the Crusades in the age of papal domination. And I speak with you of the Mongol conquests and afterwards the revival of the Europeans, the reformation of the Latin Church, the Emperor Charles V, the age of political experiments, the new empires of the Europeans in Asia and overseas. If I then speak with you of the American War of Independence and the French Revolution and the restoration of monarchy in France and the uneasy peace in Europe that followed the fall of Napoleon, if I speak with you of the Industrial Revolution, the development of modern political and social ideas, if I then speak with you of the expansion of the United States and the rise of Germany to predominance in Europe, the new overseas empires, the European aggression in Asia, the rise of Japan, the British Empire, the age of armament in Europe, the new order in Russia, the League of Nations, the failure of the League of Nations, the Second World War, the rise of Nazism, the fall of Nazism, the crisis that humanity has faced since World War II, and now we live in America in a time of communist revolution. I would be speaking with you about what? January 15, 2014, Michael Savage, The Death Poem. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. You know, we keep hearing the rhetoric that American government is broken, and it's like a broken record. American government is broken. American government is broken. American government is broken. No, American government isn't broken. Barack Obama broke American government over his knee. How else could you explain that a lowly street organizer, a community street organizer, a communist street organizer, a radical communist street organizer can take over the most powerful nation on earth, Slowly but surely, and I have to be very careful, I'm trying to give you some strategic thinking on the savage nation. I'm trying to tell you that we're about to lose the nation for good. I'm trying to tell you that it's not about a broken government. I'm telling you it's about a radical communist who took over the government and has intimidated everybody in the government. I'm telling you what's real. Now, I want to go back to stop the coming civil war. I wrote it a year ago. So far, we don't really have a civil war. The only people dying are white cops. Uh, that's all. That, that's all. That's how they do it. First, they take out the thin blue line. 
You see, and once the thin blue line is gone, who's going to defend you? Who? Bernie Sanders?